sleep paralysis sucks. I know because it happened to me the other night and it used to happen to me quite consistently. If you've never experienced sleep paralysis before, I hope you never do. It is terrifying. It happens when I'm awake and asleep at the same time. Scientifically, this is explained when you are in your REM cycle and your body releases this sort of mechanism that keeps you paralyzed like when you're asleep so you're not acting your dreams out or you know it's like a, it's like something that your body protects you from. When I start to realize that it's actually going to happen like I'm going into that paralysis state it always happens in a process where I realize that something's gonna happen and it's not necessarily that I'm par paralyzed at that moment in time but once I realize uh oh something's about to happen and I know I think I know what it is I immediately start to immobilize sometimes when this happens my eyes are open and I can actually see in my room. Now, as if the paralysis isn't creepy enough, I start to feel this really dark, dark presence. Now, this part, I kind of refuse to give scientific explanation and dominion over several variations of sleep paralysis because I think for each person, it could be different. But for me, I know I feel this like really, really dark thing, like a dark presence happening at the same time. It's as if this feeling and this presence are conjoined in one. And I know even that is inexplicable, but, but those of you who have been through sleep paralysis know what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I'm fighting with my paralysis, it usually relents with simple efforts to break out. Then there are other times where I feel like this physical interference, like this most recent time, I felt like this long Nosferatu kind of hand grab my arm and it was the arm that was closest on the edge of the bed. So I'm laying down and I feel it just come across my arm and when I feel this it's like a prickly sensation. And then there was this other time which was one of the most terrifying times was when I felt like I was actually being dragged off the bed. However, always, always, whenever this happens, one thing that never fails every single time this happens is prayer. Like once I start praying, it starts to relent. It starts to fade away. After prayer and the, par the sleep paralysis starting to relent and come off me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm usually a little bit like shook, like, oh man, I can't, I can't believe that happened again. Like, why again? But then almost always I go to sleep real peaceful after that. Like it was just something I could brush off. At one point in my life, it used to happen so consistently. It was predictable and almost laughable sometimes. Sometimes I would laugh during those episodes. For me, it's more rare nowadays that this happens. It still happens, but it's once in a blue moon that it does. But when it does, my panic is short because I always know what to do. What are your guys' experience with sleep paralysis? Comment below.